Good morning. Today is Sunday, July 24th. This is Faith at Home with Pastor. And uh, what we've been doing over the summer months is be, is to look at the Psalms that are assigned for the day. And for today, the 24th of July, we have Psalm 138. One of the things I ran across is um, is I have uh, reading the Psalms with with Luther. And, uh, and I also have a book entitled uh, Martin Luther's Psalm, Psalm by Psalm. And, uh, and I thought, well, this, uh, this maybe takes some readings uh, from uh, the reading the Psalms with Luther. And, uh, and, and this actually takes every single Psalm. The other one only takes certain Psalms. And so, so I may read from this as well if, if uh, that Psalm is in here. But at least uh, read from here. And so I thought it would be kind of nice to kind of hear uh, from, from Luther. But I want to begin with prayer. Lord, thank you so much as we do look at the Psalms to realize the deliverance that you give us, the salvation that you give us, uh, that you rescue us, uh, even though we are undeserving. And Lord, we thank you for your kindness, your, your goodness. And we pray you'll continue to bless us as we continue to study the Psalms, Lord. We pray everything in Jesus' name. Amen. Once again, today we have Psalm 138, and uh, Luther writes, the 138th Psalm is a general psalm of thanks for a variety of deliverances from the enemies. The psalmist wishes that Christ's kingdom would come and kings would receive his word and doctrine, give thanks for it, and worship him aright. They must learn that Christ's kingdom exists, that it sits on high, and that he helps the lowly who are stuck in woe and fear, and comforts and rescues sinners and the miserable. The psalm closes with the prayer that God would not abandon his kingdom and work thus begun, but bring them to fulfillment in eternity. And then he goes on and, and, and has the psalm, as, and, it, and it reads as follows, I give you thanks, O Lord, with my whole heart. Before the gods I sing your praise. I bow down toward your holy temple and give thanks to your name for your steadfast love and your faithfulness. For you have exalted above all things your name and your word. On the day I called you, you answered me. My strength of soul you increased. All the kings of the earth shall give you thanks, O Lord, for they have heard the words of your mouth. And they shall sing of the ways of the Lord, for great is the glory of the Lord. For though the Lord is high, he regards the lowly, but the haughty he knows from afar. Though I walk in the midst of trouble, you preserve my life. You stretch out your hand against the wrath of my enemies, and your right hand delivers me. The Lord will fulfill his purpose for me. Your steadfast love, O Lord, endures forever. Do not forsake the work of your hands. As I look at the psalm, and these are my words, not Luther's, but um, but yeah, you know, he talks about it being a general psalm of thanks and, and for de deliverance. And when we think about the struggles that we have in this world, you know, it's amazing that we have a God who does rescue us. He does deliver us. And, uh, and we can thank and praise him for that. We do not deserve that. But it is out of his grace, it is out of his, out of his mercy that he seeks to do that. You know, it's like on the day I called you, this is verse 3, uh, you answered me. My strength of soul you increase. We know that God is always with us. And because of that, you know, the psalmist uh, sings, sings glory to the Lord. Uh, thanks him for all that, that he has done uh, for all that God has done for us. You know, verse 7, though I walk in the midst of trouble, that we have a God who preserves our lives. He, he says, uh, you stretch out your hand against the wrath of my enemies, your right hand delivers me. You know, you think about uh, Jesus is sitting at God's right hand. And of course, uh, your right hand delivers me. Jesus came down to this world and he uh, lived the life that we should have lived. And, uh, and, and through his perfect life, he took then our sins and uh, sacrificed himself on the cross so that in him we can be forgiven. And so the psalm concludes, The Lord will fulfill his purpose for me. Your steadfast love, O Lord, endures forever. 
do not forsake the work of your hands. Yeah, yes, we have been delivered because of Jesus Christ. Yes, he died for our sins, but he rose again so that we have the promise of life everlasting. So Luther has a closing prayer to each one of these Psalms, and so this is his prayer. Renewed thanks do we return unto you, O Father of mercy, for all your loving kindness toward, toward us, and chiefly because you have called us into the kingdom of your Son, our Savior. Cleanse us from sin by his blood. Remember not our transgressions against us. Do not forsake the work of your own hands, that delivered from our enemies, we may evermore praise you. Amen. So, God be with you throughout this coming week, and look forward to seeing you again next week.